This is Katie, and this is a, another birthday card. And it's also from the class that I did. So I have some items pre-cut. Um, there, there's kind of a technique here that, uh, kind of involving the label and these hole punch things here. So I'm trying to show different techniques rather than just making cards. So hopefully that will help. This is the punch that created those. It's a very specific ovally shaped uh, punch. I think this is, I think it's an EK success punch, I want to say. But it's kind of like a hole punch, but it's got a specific shape. So it's kind of cute. So I punched both sides with that. This was also a punch. Um, I'll try and find what design it is. It's just like a tag, tag punch. I think it's a Stampin' Up one. And then I have a craft cardstock card base. The cardstock is from Paper Tray Ink. And then I have other cardstock. I'll try and, I think I have bigger sheets of this. I'll try and hunt down what cardstock it is. But this is just the front and the back of the cardstock. We're just going to use the pieces like this. So the only, some, these are uh, probably an eighth of an inch in total, smaller on all sides to give kind of a border. This part was a little hard, especially for, um, the class, I think it was kind of difficult. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you kind of how I did this part. Um, you'll take your adhesive runner and the part that we, the suns are kind of facing like this. So this is going to be the bottom. We want to run a tape line along the bottom and put the ribbon. We're just going to use the center of the ribbon, even though we're gonna tie it off to a side, we've got enough ribbon to do this with. So I want the ribbon kind of half on and half off of the paper there. So we wanna stick it down. So when you flip it over to the front, it's gonna look like this. So then I want to run the tape runner all around because we're gonna stick this down to the card base. You can run it over the ribbon again if you want. Get some extra sticky on the back. And then in this case, we'll just make sure that it's coming down from the top just as much as it is on the sides, if that makes sense. So whatever looks like an eighth of an inch around the edges, we're just kind of match that with the top border. So these widths look the same. So that is good enough there. Then we'll take our other piece, which is gonna be the yellow on top and run the adhesive on the cloud side. Then we want to match these up. They're the same width. Then we're gonna stick that on top of the ribbon. Match that up all along the edge. Then uh, I'm gonna use this Thanks from Alon Bonset. <clears throat> it's from the, oh no, this is a different Thanks. That was an option. This one is actually gonna be from the Many Thanks stamp set. It's the more bold version. And then I want to stamp that onto my tag with VersaFine Onyx Black. So it's bold. I just wanna make sure there aren't any hairs on that. Just stamp that right in the middle. And get our tag off there. All right. So then we want to take this ribbon and feed it through and then out this side. You just want to keep it straight so you don't want it to kind of twist while it's in there, kind of like your seat belt that you can never fix. Um, want to keep that part straight. So we want to put it under and then through this side, make sure it's kept straight. And then we're going to tie it over here eventually. So once we've got the thanks kind of where we want it there, this is actually going to be raised up with um, foam tape. So we'll leave the ribbon there so it's the right width and everything. And you can stick the foam tape down to the ribbon 
now that it's set to the right length. Um, or you can avoid it, it's up to you. But we don't need to move it anymore. So it can be stuck to the ribbon. So we'll pull this over and stick that down. You want to be careful with your sentiment. Maybe press once and then that happens. So the ink does stay pretty wet, so be careful. Don't smear it. And then, um, then I want to run actually to keep this down. And since it's not sheer ribbon, you won't see the adhesive through it. I want to run a little adhesive there and a little closer so I can kind of push this down and give me some leverage to tie it into a bow. So I stuck it down so you can kind of see that that's going to help me. Then we'll tie a ribbon in the middle. And I don't have a lot of practice tying ribbons, but or bows, bows that are kind of straight. So this probably isn't going to be that straight, but whatever works for you, or if you want to look up some tutorial videos, I don't have any about tying bows so that they are flat or straight or cute. Probably won't be found here. So we'll trim that one off that end, trim that end, and then you've got your bow. So you can try and figure out how you can get it to look like that or tie it different ways. But the main thing here is this um, feeding this through. I've seen this on a lot of cards. I've made it on a lot of cards and I just like how it looks. And then we raised it up so it's got that dimension there. And there you go. And so I, I may have said this is another birthday card. I just realized it's not. It's a thank you card. So you have your thank you card. Um, thank you for watching and come back for another video.